Hi, I'm Patrick, and this is the MyDigitalDoorman.com Staff Training Guide. Let's start at the beginning. Go ahead and log in if you've not done so already. Put in your username and password. Once you log in, the site looks like this. The first thing you'll notice on the right-hand side is that there is a picture of your location or an icon or logo of your location. Additionally, you'll see this little guy right here. His name is Baxter, and Baxter is the status of today's mail. In fact, he's the face of our today's mail feature. Now, what does that mean? Well, this is the first and easiest feature to show you. When the mail is in for the day, if your site does receive mail, you just click this icon right here, and the status automatically changes from the mail is not in to the mail is in. Okay, let's get back to the software itself. Now I've showed you how the Today's Mail feature works. Here we are back in the site admin area or the main page. Let's start by logging in a package because it's probably the first thing you're going to do. So I click the single package button. You'll notice that a pop-up window appeared. Now the first thing we're going to enter here is the shortcut ID. Now what is the shortcut ID? Well, it really could be anything. It could be a mailbox number, a room number, or part of the last name, an ID number. It could be anything. Talk to your manager, but essentially it is a shortened version of a person's whole name so that it's quicker to enter packages in. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a package for a mailbox number 856. And as I do that, I can choose what it is. Let's say it's a DHL tube. I just use my mouse for that. Or I can go through and say it's a FedEx letter by using the tab keys and hitting FL. Or I can, if you notice, these choices all repeat with numbers. So if I'm really in a hurry, I can go through and use the number keys and say 2-2 for UPS box. And that's it. That's all I need to enter. I can hit the Enter Package button right now and be done. However, there's a couple fields still left. The Logged In By. The Notes 1, Notes 2, and Photo fields. All of these are optional. I've left them blank because I don't need to enter them. However, what would you enter if you do want to enter them in? Well, talk to your manager and find out um, what they prefer, but in this case, the logged in by is supposed to be your name. So it could be your full name like this, or it could just be your initials. Again, talk to your manager about that. The Notes 1 field is, let's, is designed to capture more information about that package itself. Maybe your manager wants you to write in that it's from Amazon.com. That's probably more information than you need. Um, most likely, they're only going to want you to put information down here like, hey, it's damaged, or it's leaking, okay? Something like that. Maybe it's on shelf B is where you put it, or maybe it's locked in the office. You can put anything you like. For instance, if it's perishable or flowers, that, that might be something you'd want to note so that they come and get those packages more quickly. Now, the Notes 2 field is going to be a tracking number, so you would just go ahead and scan that information in. You just use your barcode reader and scan the barcode on the package. That said, I'm going to go ahead here and click the Enter Package button. You'll notice immediately that the screen has changed. This is that shortcut ID again. In this case, it is a mailbox number. On the top here, you'll notice a unique package ID with a barcode. That's something Digital Doorman does create. Here is that package recipient's last name. And here is the company field. Now, the company field could be uh, a company. Pacific Incorporated. It could be a residence hall, um, you know, Pacific, residence hall Pacific B, or it could be uh, a floor or a department. It can really be anything. So uh, your site will really determine what information is in that field. You'll notice though that I didn't type this or this while I was entering that package. That's preloaded in the software. So here is the other bits of information. It's a UPS box received April 20th. And small on the bottom is the tracking number. Now in this case, we've also printed up a mailbox slip. Now before I show you that, I'll say that most commonly, most locations do print this 4x6 label. It'll print up as a 4x6 label, and you would apply this label or package tag directly to the box. Some locations will also print up something like this, which is a package slip, which would go into a customer's mailbox or a recipient's mailbox if you do that. That said, not everybody does, so I won't go into tremendous detail about this, but if you do find that coming out of the printer is something that resembles this, uh, make sure to get a signature from that recipient when they come in. So that's it for the single package. Now I'm going to show you the multi-package. You and I know that packages don't come in one at a time, they come in in bunches, like bananas. So that's why we have the multi-package tool. When I click the multi-package tool, there's a couple things you'll notice. First of all, check that out, it does remember your name from the last section. 
Also here, I'm going to choose first what I'm logging in. So we'll log all the boxes in together. You'll also notice that I just turned on the live search feature, and I'll show you what that is in a moment. So again, I can use, I can just type 211 for that mailbox number, and then 304 for a mailbox number, and then 502 for a mailbox number. In this case, I've entered all three packages in that quickly. Now I'm done with the UPS boxes. I want to do, say, a padded envelope. I change it to pad pack. You see, it remembers the choices each time. So the first one comes in. There's no name on it. With the live search feature turned on, when I type the information I have, which is John, it'll pull up the first name and the last name field. It'll also search the company field, which I told you that is, and joint holders, which I'll explain in a minute. So I'm going to enter that package in. So the next person comes in, and it is a gal who is married to one of your package recipients. Her name is Anna. Now that's a joint holder. She also receives mail and packages um, in the same place that her husband, Matt Austin, does. So you can see here she comes up. All right. Again, I could put any information I'd like in here, and it'll be recorded, and enter that package in. Lastly, suppose I have um, a bunch of people that are in the same mailbox. I could type that mailbox information in here and you can see I've got three different choices. I can choose the student that it is. And if they actually got three packages, I could say that they got three packages here. I'd go ahead and hit the enter package button. Now I'm done. I hit the print labels. You can see this works largely the same way. As soon as I hit the print labels button, the system will automatically send an email or a text message to every single one of those package recipients. Here you can see the screen has changed. Again, you've got that mailbox number in this case, but it's the shortcut ID. It could be anything. The last name of the package recipient, maybe the department they're in, UPS box, etc. So all these package tags are going to print first, and you'll see they're going to enter in the exact same order that we entered them into the system. And then if you have mailbox slips that print, they print in numerical order. Now let's take a look at how um, to log packages in and out. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to click on uh, box 304. I clicked on show his packages and you can see all the different packages he has. You can see his box number, the package ID, the date and time to the second a package arrived, date and time to the second when a package left. If you want to check a package out, it's very simple. So I'm going to take this one right here. Now I've got a, a couple choices. I'm going to check out this top package just like this. Okay? And now I'm going to check out the second package. So generally speaking, we would just scan it out like this. Check out the package checked out successfully, and you would just scan that barcode. Now that is on the package t uh, ID, so that package ID is on the package tag, it's on the package slip, and it's even on the email that goes to the customer. So you just scan that out with the barcode reader. Now I'm going to go back in here, view packages, and sure enough, the two first two packages have been checked out automatically. How do I check out the third one? Well, let me show you that. In this case, I'm using copy and paste because I don't have the labels in front of me, but if you did, you would just use your barcode reader to scan it right off of those boxes. So if we turn on the delivery confirmation and I scan out a package, you'll notice an additional pop-up appears. Now, uh, ask your manager if this is supposed to be on all the time or not. If it is supposed to be all on all the time, you're probably supposed to put your initials in so we know who logged out the packages. You may want to record the uh, a swipe of the ID information of the package, uh, whoever took up that package. So maybe it's a student ID or a company ID or something. You can also uh, you could also record with delivery confirmation on uh, who logged out the package plus a note. You know, it was picked up by, you know, the wife with a note or something. That kind of thing. Okay, so that was packages in and packages out. What else is there? There is the search for recipients. So just like on the live search feature, you could search for John and you'll see it'll come up with John and Johnson. It searches first name, last name, joint holders, and company field. It also searches the mailbox numbers. Lastly, you could search for a package. If you want to do that, you would just scan the ID uh, or tracking number of a package. You can see it'll pull up all the hits. Generally, there's only going to be one when you scan a barcode. This is a test site, so there's many. Um, and you can even choose the date that you want to search for packages in or out. So that's it. I hope this gives you all the information you need. On behalf of everybody from MyDigitalDoorman.com, I want to thank you for using our software. And remember, you can always contact us with any kind of questions you might have about the software. That's it. Thank you.